Paradise Valley. And speaking of Paradise, one of our guests today is the blonde bombshell who played the female lead in the private lives of Adam and Eve. She is the eye-appealing Mamie Van Doren. Another of our guests has led an exciting life riding the Western Range, fighting with the French Foreign Legion, and discovering lost civilizations among his many screen adventures. From soap commercials to stardom, he is Doug McClure. Rounding out our repertoire of guests is Tawny McClure Kane. If you paid attention to the middle name, you are correct in assuming a relationship with Mr. Clore. Tawny is his daughter and a rising singer in her own right. And now here's your host and man of the half hour, the insouciant Skip E. Lowe. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Looking at Hollywood today. We have an interesting show for you. I want you to sit back and relax because we have a Hollywood hot show for you. We have one of Hollywood hots stars, <laughs> Doug McClure, who brought his lovely daughter, Tiny. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you're a rock and roll star. I <laughs> you're working the circuit. I'm doing that. I've been playing at the Sash. And, uh, the Sash? Where is that? It's a really nice nightclub on uh, Ventura Boulevard in Studio City. Uh -huh. Really, really fun. I've played there about four times. We're playing May 4th mm -hmm. at the Starlight Amphitheater for the American Red Cross, uh -huh. promoting my Terminator soundtrack album. That Terminator? You ha you did that... Uh, uh, yeah, you're, I understand you're going to do a single. Yeah, we're releasing a single from that album. It's called Burning in the Third Degree, which, mm -hmm. th you know, obviously goes right. with the Terminator. Right. But, uh, yeah, it's doing pretty well. We're getting uh -huh. really good response from it. And uh, this summer I'm releasing another album, so this is kind of the teaser to the full album. Uh -huh. You've been busy, Doug, haven't you? Have I? Yes, you have. <laughs> you have. I've been pretty busy. Yes. yes. I've been busy. What's your new thing out right now? Uh, something new. I don't, you know, I, I really don't have anything out at the moment. What I, I mean by busy, you yeah. do a lot of theater, summer theater. I have. And you do, don't you? Well, I, you know, really Dinner theater. Dinner theater. <laughs> yeah. I'm really not doing anything at the moment, but uh, I've come lot very close. A lot going yeah, on. And a lot of things Is are going brewing? on. Is it brewing? Really? Really, really brewing. Yeah. You know, They're looking at me again. I, well, you don't know exactly where it's going to happen. You've done six television series. Six, yeah. Six. What are there? Can you name some of them? Well, the first one was uh, Olin Trail with Bill Bendix, uh -huh. and then Checkmate, and yeah. uh, Tony George and the late Sebastian Cabot, and of course The Virginian. The Virginian. Stewart, I love that. Lee, that was a great show. Yeah. Charles. How long was that six, on, Virginian? Six, nine years. Nine years. One year was Min from Shiloh, the last year. Tani did one. You did. You, yeah. I understand you were. She was a little girl. Little girl, five <laughs> years old, huh? Yeah. yeah okay. She played an orphan girl. Did she really? Oh, yeah. Well, you started in the business young then. Yeah. You got in front of the camera, huh? Five. She's, uh, she used to come on the set a lot. Uh -huh. and Get in trouble. Yeah, ride uh -huh. the horse and uh -huh. take my horse and everything. And I think she's, uh, she's, she's observed an awful lot. And then I did. You did um, checkmate, didn't you? Checkmate, checkmate was the second, and then uh -huh. search was the, was after. Um, did that at Warner Brothers. Mm -hmm. And the Bowery Coast. And the Bowery Coast. That's a good one. Yeah, it was yeah. that was all right. I that think. was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was fun. They they were all fun. I think the Virginian was the, the most. It's my fun. favorite. Yeah. yeah. Really well, I can't. You know, I have had a marvelous career, and and mm -hmm. I thank you for staying busy, and uh, you know, but, but I. But you, busy. What I mean, yeah, but you're just constantly doing. Well, I think you're writing exciting, scripts yeah. too. Mm -hmm. I'm co-writing things, and I'm, I'm, I'm very. It's an exciting time uh -huh. for me and and for my daughter. Um, I have a script, uh, one that Claire Huffaker wrote, my, my wife mm -hmm. is uh, co-producing, executive producing, that we'll do a film in London called Lord Montana, and that we're gonna, we postponed it because of weather, but we're going to do it this summer, mm -hmm. and then another film with my Tani and myself called Rock and Waltz. You're going to do a film together? Yeah. How yeah. wonderful. You're going to play, you're gonna play rock, rock and she's going to play ball. <laughs> That's yeah, right. Is that, that right? Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh -huh. da, 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 uh -huh. da, 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 da. So uh, uh -huh. that, that's the part that's exciting. And uh -huh. uh, then again, uh, you know, I think um, uh -huh. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much... You're uh, doing one day at a time, that's aren't it. you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one, yes, day, one day, at day at a time. You've been wonderful. For two and a half years. You look great. Thank you. It's two and a half years? Yes. Look at it. Look, he's working yeah. out. Yeah. 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 My, yeah. My <laughs> You're getting bigger, it seems. Well, that's the, the addictive personality. I mean, I go to... Uh, near where Tani is, uh -huh. the sash, and I guess it's all right to plug. That's right. Because the guy that owns it's a real uh -huh. grouch. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gym that I... <laughs> not the sash, the <laughs> gym <laughs> oh. that I go to. Uh -huh. The gym is that, which, you know, it's just... Uh, when an actor, an actor has to do things when he's not working. That's when, we you know... The, the problems can happen. Uh -huh. So I go to this Vince's gym, I said it, uh -huh. and in between uh -huh. jobs, which uh -huh. can stretch, you know. And that's in the valley, is it? In the valley. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I, that's where you, an actor can kind of hang out. And, uh -huh. and you live in the valley, things. don't you? 
You do now. You do? I used uh -huh. to live in Pebble Beach. Okay. I always mention it because it's a place that I will be going back to one day. Uh, I lived like underneath Merv Griffin there in Pebble Beach. You like to surf, don't you? I was discovered on a surfboard. You were. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Tani was in, born uh, during a movie I did, Gitchick. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. used to carry it down in a, in, a, in a basket and then go out and catch a wave. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know the picture I really like. Old. You did a movie of a week. Oh, I love this movie, Fogus. That was fun. Uh, that's a remake. A remake of uh, uh, Gary Cooper. Gary. I played the Ray Milan part. That's yeah. right. Wonderful in that. Yeah. Thank one you. of my favorite things you've done on television. You've done a lot, but that's. I think that's one of my. Well, what is your favorite? Universal. I got to always be very grateful to uh, that was Universal, Universal Studios. Yeah. Tani's meeting with MCA now herself. So is she? Th it's all funny how this love. It's been just terrific. Uh, uh -huh. um, Tani's career is going in the way that she she's concentrates uh, um, mostly on on her singing, and she works uh -huh. very hard on that. She's a natural actress, but. Uh -huh. And I, I, I can't sing. God, <laughs> yes, I mean, you do. Well, I sing, sing like a, I sing like. Sing. A, I mean, I sing, but I mean, uh -huh. I, my this knee sh shakes, uh -huh. and then this one. And so she, she used to go to rodeos with me and, uh -huh. and watch me. And I say, tell me how I do, and she goes, you know, Dad, how you go, uh -huh. go out and ride the horse, the bull, it's better. Uh -huh. But I don't know exactly what I was talking about, except that it's exciting. And then that 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 career you go through, where you have a studio behind you, which yes. is part of the mm -hmm. story, of Rock and Walt, uh -huh. that uh, you you have an opportunity, you know. You, to take care of yourself, things this business it changes so quickly. You know, one minute. Uh, so the McClures are really having a good time. Oh, right yeah. Now, huh? yeah. It's a good time for you. It, and yeah, supportive, the uh -huh. family. Uh -huh. you know, uh, my my lovely wife Diane is, uh -huh. uh, is is very very supportive. She works in England as an assistant to producer uh -huh. and uh -huh. John Dark and four films. So you did a thing on Broadway for Carl Reiner. I what, sure tell did. me about that. It was Rob Reiner and uh, Rob uh, Rob Reiner. Ro Carl Reiner directed. He directed it. Yeah. it. And Gary Marshall and uh, uh -huh. Jerry Bell. Yeah, that's right. He got nominated for, uh, yeah, uh, he got nominated for uh, the uh, critics, the yeah. drama thing. Didn't yeah, he? it was mm -hmm. very exciting. The play didn't the last. The desk, huh? The drama desk. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. yeah the drama. I think so. Yeah, yeah I think so. Mm -hmm. I did an imitation of. I was playing a movie actor, and I did an imitation of Jerry Lewis. On it, did you really? Who I know and uh -huh. like very much. And you do like Jerry? I do like Jerry. A lot of people I don't love like Dean him. Martin. <laughs> I love Dean me. Martin a lot. I do. I just don't do him anymore. I gave up the booze, but I. <laughs> I'm not, my image of Dean Martin on horseback, I would emulate everybody I worked with and, uh -huh. or liked, and I always picked up pieces of them. I couldn't help it. Burt Lancaster, <laughs> and Jerry Lewis I, when I was young. You yeah, know. Right. So I imitate people, and I can't help it. It's something I, I do. You like Jimmy yeah. Stewart when I worked with him, and uh, mm -hmm. Robert Mitchum was difficult to imitate Mitchum. But um, <laughs> we're here. I'm doing this. Do I talk? How about, about your best talk friend, Bert Reynolds? Reynolds now tell friend. me about it. That's your ex-roommate. Yeah, we were roommates. Um, he was uh, Bert and I. St I met Bert on Riverboat, and okay. we was. I love Bert Reynolds. You do? <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. I do. Uh, he's a good friend, and we met on uh, Riverboat, uh -huh. and um, I. Uh, I think he and I. Well, first time we went out to a movie with Tani's mother. That's how far back uh -huh. we go, uh -huh. and um, there. Were, then, of course, over the years, we saw each other a lot, and then I did uh, Cannibal Run 2 with Bert. You did Cannibal Run 2. And Bert is uh -huh. fine, too. Right? He's in good health yeah. now. People are talking about his health right now. Is no, he's he? fine. Is he fine? Yeah, he's working out in the gym. I haven't seen him, but I, uh -huh. I, I talked uh -huh. to him. Uh, his, uh, Have his you done his Burt Reynolds Theater? Uh, no. You haven't done it? No. Because you're... Haven't. How come? I don't know. I don't know. I think that's that would be something I'd like to do when, when the time's right. Uh-huh. And this is something about our business too. It's it's very fun, as you know. You you do a play with someone like Carl Reiner, and, and uh -huh. you, you have that moment, and you get nominated, and then we all kind of go off into these different uh -huh. paths, and, and then you, you keep inside how uh -huh. you feel about right, somebody, right. and then you you know if they know you care about them. That's what kind of man Burt Reynolds is? Uh, uh, Burt Reynolds is a very giving man, and, and very modest sense of humor. Very he's very caring. He loved Tani, and uh -huh. matter of fact, he he. Uh, Used to swim out by the pool with her once, and, and she was uh, he was considering her for a man who loved women. Uh -huh. We went over to his house, and uh, but uh, they got a ten and a ten. Bert said, <laughs> a "Man who loved women." Uh -huh. But um, I I can't really. I have something in my heart with Bert and Bert Lancaster, Bert Reynolds, a few people like that. Mm -hmm. You carry around with you because what was you're your so close. My first major motion picture. You did it with Bert Reynolds, uh, Bert Lancaster. The Unforgiven. Yeah, that was a good picture. Yeah, Bert. You was. Yeah, it was a marvelous Good. film. Yeah, great. Like it. Oh, I said, Andy, there are Indians coming. I said, I, I saw know. that in Paris years <laughs> ago. You're doing me, yes, I am. In the 60s, wasn't it? It or was made in 19... It was 50. No, it was... Uh, Connie was just born. It was... Uh, 
Oops, that oh, was getting age. <laughs> so we were talking about that. What yeah, was, was my age we were going to talk about. It was a good movie. Yes, it was. Yeah, good movie, too. Uh, you been on the Johnny Carson? Uh, you're one of the... Uh, Johnny Carson players. I was, Johnny yeah. Carson players. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about that. Oh, it, I, it was no big deal. I just had, I had fun. I just did a couple of skits with him. Uh-huh. Um, but now I'm planning on going on the Johnny Carson show. He doesn't know this yet. He doesn't. Okay. But I'm going to go okay. on and sing my single, you know. Good. To major stardom. Great. <laughs> <laughs> you, did, you did a video, uh, MTV a video? Yeah. I had tell a us about that. Um, I, there was, I had a Top 40 single uh, uh-huh. uh, two years ago, Top 20 R&R, uh-huh. and I had uh, a couple of videos on MTV. Yes. I did television shows around the world. I did Solid Gold. And uh, a lot of mm. things like that. You have I'm been. hoping to do the same thing again with this new record coming out this summer. Uh-huh. Maybe actually, I'd not the same. I would like to have a top ten record, <laughs> platinum uh-huh. record. Yes, I agree. Under one on my wall. <laughs> Is that more than films? Would you rather have a, a, a hit record than a film? Yeah, the, I mean, uh, films. I would love to do that. That comes later. Well, I'd, I'd like to do it, but right now, I've, you know, it's hard to focus your attention on more than one thing and really be good at it. And uh-huh. I've been working so hard as a singer and as a songwriter. Yeah, which that's, that's marvelous great. thing about yeah. Tani. That's she's, wonderful. She's written some songs. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, yeah, I wrote the music. You do. On you write your own songs. Yeah, I wrote the songs. Too. You know, I have a lady I'm going to bring right now. No, he's not. Oh God, she, she is knows wa- mother. She, <laughs> I'm telling you, she is a legend here in Hollywood. She is. Uh, well, she's been around Jane for a long that, time, yeah. and she is no, one of <laughs> two well, Marilyn Monroe, Jane Mansfield. Lovely and you. when you talk about Jane Mansfield and Marilyn Monroe, you're speaking of a beautiful. Mamie Van Doren. I'd like to drink. Yeah. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> Mamie, darling, how are you? Yes, darling. You look wonderful. Thank you. Doug Hi, Lewis. Lewis. Hi, Mamie Van Doren. Hi, darling. Yes. How are you? Fine. How are you, darling? Oh, just fine. Where have you been and what's new and exciting in your life right now? Tell us. Well, um, I have a five page layout coming out in People Magazine next week. Uh-huh. And I'm doing a movie called Women Behind Bars. That's they're, re- they're writing, Tommy Yoon is writing a special uh-huh. stuff for me. And uh, a year ago when I went to an AIDS benefit for uh, doing the show, right. Women Behind Pl- Bars, um, that sort of like started. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> but you're working clubs right now. You you know she's working rock and roll. I mean, mm-hmm. you're doing rock and Ooh. roll, Mamie oh. Van Doren. Well, I Tell did rock and roll in the 50s. Are you kidding you me? You were, huh? You know, uh, yeah. It's been around a while. Right. Um, I did a record on your show uh-huh. last summer, last, uh, right. which hit the charts. It did, yes. Yes, uh-huh. and uh, now I'm doing another video. You are? I'm doing a video. What, what could you tell us? Okay. It's called New Boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No More Toys. <laughs> no More Toys. Oh, okay. <laughs> tell me about Studio One. You just closed a Studio One here in West yes. Hollywood. I did my nightclub act. I did a little of... Nostalgia things uh-huh. I did in the fifties mm-hmm. for my movies. I did a lot of teenage movies in the fifties. You did, and look, yeah. I brought. I have no, a thing no. I'm going to show. What's she doing to it? Untamed <laughs> youth. Look at that. Mm. Look at that name. Oh, who was in that name? Um. Well, let's see. Yeah, who you were naturally the star, but who, uh, uh, who else? Was I don't. Know. <laughs> you don't Howard remember. Howard Koch produced and directed. Who? William Campbell. William Campbell, who is the no, working. No, he wasn't in that. No, you're thinking you're running wild. Okay, hey David. <laughs> that's David, my announcer. He's usually correct. Yeah. Howard Koch uh, How directed that. Uh huh. Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Was it fun those days? Wasn't um, it? Yeah, but I'm having more fun now. Now, tell I'm me really why. Why? Well, I I think it's it's just a, a time in my life where I'm more appreciative than I was when I was younger, and um, I'm more aware and more experienced, and I know exactly what I want to do. You do. I'm very aware of uh-huh. things, and. Um, I'm very happy that people want to see me again, you know? I mean, this is something that... you got a new audience <laughs> out there, you know that? I know. She I've has a complete new audience out there. I think it's yes, marvelous. Yes, yeah. completely new. Yeah, it, it is. It's like, uh, I see some of the MTV videos uh-huh. and Madonna and things like that, and mm-hmm. I've got to really say that if it wasn't for the blondes in the 50s, uh-huh. Madonna wouldn't be Madonna because she's actually doing what we What you would do. do, right, exactly. So it's sort of like... Um, it's kind of interesting Good. to see that. Things come back, don't they? They usually do, don't they, Doug? If yeah. you hang they around repeat. long enough. Yeah, they, they repeat. <laughs> 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 I think I can appreciate tell me, that. <laughs> tell me about Hollywood in those days. I mean, Sunset the Strip. I mean, it was exciting, <laughs> wasn't it, Mamie Van Doren? Why don't you tell I me mean, about you it? Know, <laughs> Trocadero and uh, With Macombo. Trocadero and Macombo, I used to go to, and Cyril's. Yes, right. Um, Trocadero was before my time, but Cyril's uh-huh. was Cyril's. right in my time. 
Um, I went to all the openings. I went to all the premieres. Mm -hmm. And the was that through the studio? The studio did the that. Part. The studio Or did you it want up. it to do it? Well, I wanted to do it uh -huh. to be. You had like I was in a contract for seven years at Universal. Mm -hmm. uh, you, I had like a two-year contract with options, and in those two, the first two years, you really had to make a name for yourself. Exactly right. So, they arranged dates with me. I, my first date was Rock Hudson, as a matter of fact, and uh, he was at Universal at that time. Yes, mm -hmm. and then, and then you would get dates. I mean, it was really a professional business of of being seen and getting your name in the uh -huh, paper, uh -huh. and uh, uh, I, that's what I had to do, uh -huh. and I liked doing it. I liked being, you know... In Marilyn the Monroe, i got to ask Marilyn? You. Yeah, you, did you know her very well? I knew Marilyn uh, when she was Norma Jean. Norma Jean. <laughs> I knew her yeah. a long time ago. Uh -huh. I had James uh -huh. Bacon on the show, and he was telling me wonderful things about her, and also, yeah. who gave her that name, Marilyn I Monroe? think the studio did. Did they? Yeah. Um, I used to, well, my mother and I used to go to Palm Springs during the summer, and she used to be up there with Johnny Hyde, who was her agent at right, the time. Right, right. She was a very shy uh, type of a person where you'd think she wasn't. She was, uh -huh. I was the opposite. I was very, I'm an extrovert. She uh -huh. was an introvert. Uh -huh. And she had a h difficult time really doing the things that she did, but she still was very mischievous and kind of like a little girl in her ways, you know. And but that quality, that little girl quality. Yes, yeah, which, which came yeah. through. Mm -hmm. and, um, so, I mean... Unfortunately, the Jane and Marilyn aren't around, but... Tell me something about Mamie Van Doren. Where did Mamie Van Doren come from? Palm Springs, I but where did it really... What did it happen for you to well, come to Hollywood? I came out here during the war years from South Dakota. Really? <laughs> yeah, if you can survive it, the winters. Is that your real name, Mamie Van Doren? No. My, my real name is Joan Olander. Ah, I see. Uh -huh. um, I'm Swedish... Uh -huh. Got Irish, uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and um, I came out in '42 with my uh -huh. folks, and I've always wanted to be a movie star, uh -huh. and of course I was very lucky. I I got to be uh -huh. a certain and a certain plateau. And your first film was what? Uh, my first movie um, was at RKO How for Howard Hughes. I did five movies for Howard Hughes. Did you really? Well, he saw me in um, the newspaper. With a white sweater on, <laughs> and, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, he had his casting director call me, and uh -huh. he put me under contract for five movies. Yeah. Howard Hughes. I had his wife on the show, Terry Which Moore. One? Terry oh, Moore. Okay. <laughs> She's wonderful, and yeah. she was telling me wonderful <laughs> stories about Howard Hughes. Tell me okay. your side of, this, of Howard Hughes. What? Well, what do you he's really pretty remember? much like what Terry said. He's a cent. He was eccentric, and uh, I do remember one thing. I had lunch with him, and he had white gloves on. And he asked me if I was a virgin. <laughs> and I was 15. Uh -huh. And you know what my answer was? What? You'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> and he thought that was pretty smart, Alec like, remark for a 15-year-old kid. And I thought, well, he's, you know. Mamie Venter, I'm going to ask you this question. In the 50s, and tell me, really, was there a casting couch here in the 50s? Is that just a rumor? <laughs> really? Yeah. I got to ask you. I know you're going to. I, I like the way you asked it. I, I, mean, I, I like to know, it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, huh? I think there was. There yeah. was? Uh-huh. So yeah. it was up to the entertainer, wasn't it? Really, it it, it was up to the, the person. I mean, yeah. if they wanted to to go that route, that was their, you know, uh -huh. they wanted to get a quickie. I'm personally, I wasn't into that scene. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I took the hard way or <laughs> the easy way. I mean, your talents uh -huh. are really not in bed. Yes, it's exactly. What you do on the All right. You've entertained our troops overseas. You've been in with Bob Hope shows. And no, I didn't go with Bob Hope. I went with my own troop. I I got I I, I was in Vietnam twice in '68 and '71, and I right. hired um, some Filipinos. They're great musicians, really they, good. They copy everything American yes, does, darling. and they're real good at it. <laughs> they're and good impressionists. Yeah, and and then I I went to Vietnam, and I hit all the fire stations, and I helicoptered uh -huh. around, and uh -huh. got shot at, and I did uh -huh. all that. And I'm not gonna blow my horn, but I, I had some great experiences. I saw your act, you know, and I saw <laughs> Mamie work in uh, Bangkok at... Uh, you saw me in Bangkok. In Bangkok at Cafe the Cafe de Paris. De Paris. Right. And oh, yeah, wow. I was working there. I was entertaining the troops. I was there entertaining. That's marvelous. And she was... I couldn't believe Mamie Van Dorn in Bangkok at a nightclub. <laughs> and I had to go. I had to go. <laughs> well, I've there been to Singapore, Hancock. I'm Hancock. <laughs> Bangkok. <laughs> you <laughs> were There's just a new hit called Bangkok out. Huh? Yeah. Uh, right. No, I've been in every... A European country right. and uh, they Asia. loved you there. They loved oh, you. Oh, they love blondes yeah. with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They loved you. They loved you. <laughs> Tell me about Hollywood, Doug. Have you? Have, is it? Is it a lot of difference now? Than I mean, you've been around here. How long have you been around here? Now, uh, really, thirty years. Thirty. 
God. Well, I think, you know, it's so marvelous about Amy Van Doren. And, right. And the, are, that, you know, you really have to have a lot of stamina and be healthy and, and enjoy the business mm -hmm. to do what you did, go to Vietnam and entertain and, and sustain this town. Yes. Because part of the town is, uh, there's a lovely part of it and then there's a sad part of it. And that's the, the backstabbing and the talking and the knocking. And then, uh -huh. and you, you have to believe in what you're doing. And uh -huh. I think it's overall it's a very, it's, it, it's such a, there are glamorous people in it. And, and 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 they should be, you know. I mean, uh -huh. people are glamorous, and um, and and I think you have to have a spiritual feeling about uh -huh, this town uh -huh. and what you care about. And I think it's it gets a bad rap once in a while, you know. It's not fair. That the, the there's a, there's so many people in it. That there are good people in this very town. Very good. Yeah, yeah, I agree. There and really there, there's are. a little bit of that that you shouldn't even think about when I said backstabbing. But I just think it's in 30 years I, I've had such a lovely time. Uh -huh. Most of them. and the, anything that happened with me was probably things that I did to myself more than the town ever did to me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I've got I to say something. Can yeah. I, you know, I've got to say, Doug, you have a beautiful daughter. Thank you. I <laughs> mean, Tanya, you're <laughs> out of She's size. gorgeous, she's isn't she? I was thinking the same thing about you. I was oh, thinking, how come on, is she? How beautiful she is. I, say, I, I don't want to... Were, you were looking <laughs> no, at this picture. I was picture. looking at this the whole time. I got to share this picture. Down and grab it. Yeah, this picture. <laughs> this is oh, Amy. What is that? Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Look at yeah. that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Amy Evangel. This is real Hollywood. I knew your mother, as a matter of fact. You oh, did? Yeah. I knew that Faye I think she looks well like her mother. When yeah. are you playing? Are you playing again soon? Somewhere are you going to be singing somewhere? I'd like yeah, are you working I'd somewhere in town? No. Well, um, I'm doing my video next a week ago Sunday. Uh huh. Doing my new boys, mm -hmm. and um, I've got some things going. You know, I've got a movie. <laughs> yeah, tell me about. I just got back from Houston. I, I just, gotta know, I mean, Mimi. You do have something going, like what? And a film. I mean, well, you do? it's it's the. Uh, Girl, girl, women behind, behind bars. bars. Yeah. That's yeah. going to be the That'll new be thing. I like to go. I like to get locked up. I want to see that bars. video. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to be well, in I'll enjoy that. that. Well, they've got like they're talking about Tina Turner. And <laughs> really? That's Ooh, Sonny. Gonna be a <laughs> hot. Tina Turner. I love Tina it's Turner. A spook. It's That's marvelous. Great, yeah. uh, Tina Turner, you. I mean, I, I just love to see people sustain and, and because it's, it's really great <laughs> for me. I like yeah, to see right. that because I don't get a little, my teeth are getting browner, my hair's getting whiter. You know? But that's nice that, 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 that you can show that you can sustain in this industry and uh -huh. have, mm -hmm. and have a, as you said, a yeah. better time now. Because well, I, exactly. I just feel lucky I got through the 20s. I made it when I was 20. I got through being 30, and I got uh -huh. through being 40. Uh -huh. And now I just turned. Yeah. Oh, I think probably. it's an attitude. Yeah. I think age is definitely an attitude. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, it is. Yes. I don't even think of myself as a certain age. I, don't I married know a, a younger guy, but it doesn't. You I'm married to a 39. He'll be 40 in uh, August, and he's going October, and he's going through a very a big crisis now. It's a tough time. And 40. I, I said uh -huh. 40, 50 is easy. 40 is is really really difficult. Uh -huh. But when you reach 50, then you say, okay, if I've made it to 50, then I know I can get to 60. Uh -huh. And if you get to 60, you know you can make <laughs> it to 70. 70. Yeah, right. And so I just live one day at a time, and I'm so thankful That's I'm healthy and again, alive. One day at a time. I mean, it doesn't matter how old you are. That's right. It's because. That's it. Youth, you're not ever going to have your youth. Everybody's no. going to get there. Exactly. It isn't like it's going to stay that way. Uh -huh. Yes. And and if they're lucky to make it, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. And I am a rare species. You are. So yeah. I thank God for that. You uh -huh. know. Uh -huh. So I'm not an ageist. I really take one day at a time. Where do you live right now? I live in Newport Beach. Yeah. I'm a very outdoorsy type of are woman. Are you? Uh -huh. Yeah, I run and I, you know, like. Doug was saying he he pumps iron. I have a little <laughs> gym in my bedroom where I pump iron. And if yeah. I, one of these things go down, I just uh -huh. <laughs> I pump it up. I don't wear my bra. I got it awfully good. I said, baby. Oh, sure. Well, I stay in the now too, right? Oh, now. I did. Oh, 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 oh
<laughs> yeah, I ain't looking over my shoulder either. <laughs> yeah, well, you you should be proud of your daughter. Look I am. Huh? Look at this picture. Oh, yeah. I think she's gorgeous. Look. Let me see. She wrote the song. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. She wrote the song. Tawny Kansas, the Terminator. The Terminator. I'm the Terminator. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> she, here, that gorgeous Great. picture of her. Lovely. God. Are you, are you are you married right now? Uh, no, I'm not. No? I, I was. Kane, right? Yeah, uh -huh. but I'm free and single. What did your husband do? He was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got your beat though. Uh -huh. I got more of you did. He is a, in a, a pretty famous group himself. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Doug McClure and Mamie, what do you think of the young people today in show business? I mean, really, what do you? Uh, I, I think you, they're great. Are, I yeah. just love them. Aren't they fabulous? Oh, fantastic. And how about you, Doug? What oh, do you I I think so. I have them. A lot of fun, you know, with Tawny and, and uh -huh. I mean, watching them, and I and I think there's a lot of good actors, a lot of talent, and, and there's a, just a lot of them. But um, uh -huh. they're fun. It's it's it, they're all terrific. It's and really how about the scripts today? Do you think they're uh, getting better, or what do you think? The scripts. Well, you read if, a lot of if scripts. If I'm in them, they're good. <laughs> 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 I mean, if I'm working, I like them. Yeah. But uh, I don't really, you know, I don't I don't really uh, criticize too much about the scripts and mm -hmm. what's on and what isn't. Mm -hmm. I think they're all. We do pretty good. Uh, what do you whatever. think about the young directors today? We have a lot of young well, directors. Well, we always did, but yeah. what do you think about the you young like directors? Spielberg? Yeah, young. Yeah, right. Well, there's someone there's like Spielberg. I, I met him briefly once. And he's, uh -huh. a, he's a guy that just looks like he loves this business. Uh -huh. And he makes you feel, you know, like I've been around a while. And once in a while, when you go back into this living at a day at a time, and, uh -huh. you, and you know, you reevaluate your life. And so I'd go out and read for uh, episodic television and uh -huh. get, you know, I'm say, well, I'll try this, and I'll see what it's like. Uh -huh. And they say, who are you? I go, oh, well. No. <laughs> and then... say, well, I'll try this, and I'll see what it's like. Uh -huh. And they say, who are you? I go, oh, well. No. <laughs> and then Spielberg would come up and say, I watched everything you've done, and it makes you feel yes. pretty good. So in that case, that he's a guy that likes the industry, and, he, and he's creative, and he's uh -huh. good. And there's some obvious, I haven't seen that many young I see. directors. Really. I see. And so, Mamie, well, I th um, Hollywood, what it's I think Hollywood, right now. I mean, I watch television, and I see a lot of novice uh -huh. no directors. I, I really, truly believe that some we have some geniuses. We right do today, now. young ones. I yeah. Look at do. Breakfast Club. That's a great movie. Ooh, oh, I like that. Great movie. I I mean, the kids are that. great. They're very yeah. good. Excellent. Very really surprised. good. I was very impressed. Yeah. And and you have a good career coming, young lady. Yeah. Yeah. So. You did a lot of commercials yeah. too, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I was doing com I was doing a lot of modeling for a while. Before? Uh -huh. Um, yeah, but uh -huh. uh, it just doesn't have the excitement <laughs> that the music industry uh -huh. has uh, and the thrill. So you like the music too, don't you, Mamie? I huh? love music. I like. I like acting too, though. I uh -huh. mean, I like theater. You like, like theater? Stuff. You do a lot of theater. Yeah, she does I've a lot of theater. Dinner theater. Dinner theater. Let's yes. do one. Okay. Together, yes. 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 Uh -huh. You two would yeah. be. I'd love to yeah. do something. Yeah. Yeah. Really, a real fun comedy yeah. well, would be funny. I, fun in dinner theater, really? especially, because yeah. you always yeah. get that one guy. <laughs> you're like, you do what I used to do, don't you? He's there. I, one time I was doing dinner theater. Come blow your horn. This woman said, he ain't John Davidson. I said, okay, go ahead, Skip. <laughs> That's why I, I like to do comedy. I want to thank you. You well, know, time has gone quickly. That's yeah, the show was really fun. Thank you for coming. Thank you. And I wish you a lot of success, young lady. I'm going to come and see you. Oh, good. Where are you working next, you say? May 4th, May 4th at the Starlight Amphitheater. I'm coming to see you. And Mamie Van Torrent, oh, thank you for thank joining you me too. again. Thank you and much. And you'll be you. doing your video, and we're going to yeah. watch it out there. Yeah, and it's called? My video? Yeah. I mean, New Boys. New Boys. <laughs> we're going to watch it. Ladies and gentlemen, you have really been yeah, and it's called my video. Yeah, I mean, new boys, new boys. <laughs> We're going to watch it. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. you have really been looking at Hollywood today. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Skip. Thank you. Thank you. Stay between two lovely.